welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to see you guys here. If you are new, my name is Susanna and welcome to my channel. Today we have a really fun video. I have a favorites video for you guys, but it's not going to be just a normal favorites video and by normal I mean like all beauty products. It's going to be a mix of beauty products and home products. Stuff ranging from like favorite candles, favorite wine, favorite beauty products, stuff like that. So um, I think that it's going to be really, really fun. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and comment below your favorite item that I have shown in this video and that you want to go out yourself and get. All of those things really help me out as a YouTuber. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I just kind of realized that all of the beauty products that I have picked are pretty much hair products. So if you're interested in how I get this wavy look, then stay tuned because I will show you that. Although don't judge it today. I spent about two minutes on this. But normally if I want it to actually look really, really good, I'll spend a good like 10 to 15 minutes. But overall, this is a very, very fast way to do your hair by using these products and I just love it. So the very first product is well, let's talk about the packaging. It's adorable, but it's by this brand called Cake. And I mean, isn't this cute? It's called the Wave Maker. And so basically it just helps make some waves in your hair. I like this because it's, so it says it's sugar infused, soft, soft sheen waves, never ever drying go-to finishing spray. So it's more of like actually a finishing spray rather than I know a lot of these products you put it in when your hair is damp and kind of scrunch it, which I actually do use this to do that as well. But the best thing that it is good for is after you've kind of added a couple waves throughout your hair with your wand or however you want to do it, maybe it's already naturally pretty wavy, you just take a couple sprays of this, you know, Know, put it in your hands and then kind of go through and scrunch it a little bit more and it just really defines those waves and it makes them look so beautiful and pretty and it doesn't make them crunchy or anything weird like that it does add a little bit of texture but it's like the good texture you know what i'm saying it just makes your hair look good so um this is something that i really really like what i've been doing to do my hair this summer is i have actually so <laughs> Weird thing, I actually have never liked wands. I have never liked them until I found this one specific one. I would like always use a curling iron, like partial curling irons, and I still love curling irons, but this has just been a much lazier way to do my hair. But for some reason, so okay, ignore the color because this is not my aesthetic. I got this color, it's like a sparkly pink color mainly because it was like on sale for about $15 cheaper than the normal one and I'm gonna go for the cheaper one. So it is this really flashy pink sparkles which I would have gone for the black. But something about this wand, like it just makes the waves look so much more beautiful than like any other wand I have ever tried. And I've tried a lot of different wands and I have never liked them. I only discovered this because I used my friends who had it at like a bachelorette party and I was like, oh, <laughs> I actually like this one. So it's the brand is GVP. Um, let's see. And it just kind of looks like that's the brand. Let me show you what the actual rod of it looks like. Okay. So this is what it looks like. I don't know what it is about this. The texture of this feels kind of different than the other ones that I have used. I feel like it, I, I don't know. It just works some sort of crazy magic that I don't understand. So this wand makes the most beautiful waves I've ever seen in my life. So if you're looking for a new wand, I got this at Sally's Beauty. It was, again, it was on sale, I think, because of the color. It was like $15 cheaper, but I can't remember how much I got it for. It was like 30 something. It wasn't very expensive. So love this thing. Love it. And so then I'll usually add a couple waves in my hair and then I will go through with this to kind of finalize. I'll squirt it in my hand and then just kind of like re-scrunch it and it just perfects it. <laughs> so I love it. The next hair product that I want to talk about is by the exact same brand. It's also by Cake. <laughs> 
and again, super, super cute, but it is called the Sugar Reset. It's a purifying hair rinse. And so a lot of times, and what I still like to do is I like to get apple cider vinegar and I like to put it throughout my hair like when I'm in the shower and let it sit and then it gets all that gunk and stuff out, which honestly that's probably a cheaper resolution to this. <laughs> but I just like this because a lot of times when I plan on doing that, I'll already be in the shower and then I will have forgotten and then I'll have to get out of the shower, go to the fridge, get apple cider vinegar and this I can just keep in my shower and it does the exact same thing just a little more expensive. But you just take a little bit, you put it on your scalp, that's where I like to focus it because that's where I put the most product. And then you let it sit for a couple minutes and then you rinse it out. And what it does is it just gets all of that gunk that has like really built up on your scalp in your hair and it gets it out so that when you do your hair again it's super voluminous and shiny and perfect so I love this stuff it's just it's a good hair reset especially if you use a lot of product like me because I need that volume so this stuff is awesome okay let's talk about one of my favorite subjects wine. I am a wine lover. I love me some good wine. I, let's see, I'm not a big white wine fan. So if you like white wine, I'm probably not going to recommend the kinds of wines that you like, but if you love red wine, then I got you. So I love the really, really dry red wines. Those are just my favorite. My top two favorite red wines ever. I love Cabernets, that's my favorite, but Freak Show, and the other one is called J Lore. It's spelled like J-L-O-H-R, I believe, and those are just both my favorites. But I'm kind of on a bit of a tighter budget right now, every time but i'm on a bit of a tighter budget right now so this morning when i went to the store i wanted to pick up some wine i picked up ooh, this one and i have gotten this one other time before and this is about in the ten dollar range so it is a little bit cheaper than J Lore and freak show which are kind of around the 17 18 dollar range so i got it a little bit cheaper i have tried this one before and this is my favorite of like the less expensive wines and so that's why I picked up this one. This one's a pretty it's a pretty good one for the price range, but my all-time favorite wines are by far J Lore and Freak Show. So if you like a good red just dry wine, those will do it. Okay, so now let's talk about candles. So by far my absolute favorite candle in the entire world is Leaves by Bath and Body Works and Autumn, which are both in the fall and I know it's summer, so I'll show you a couple of summer candles as well. But those are just like, I could burn those year round. They smell so good, but I actually try not to burn them year round because I want it to be more special whenever fall comes around, so I don't burn them year round, but they're amazing. My favorite summer candles that I have kind of discovered right now, one I think was called like, it was like Flamingo Beach and I've already burned that one entirely, but that one smells really good. Also, this one I'm almost through. This one is Tiki Beach and it smells so amazing. I was actually burning this a second ago, so it's like not entirely dried back down, but I mean, it smells like the beach. It just, it smells so good. And then the other one, I usually do not like rose scented candles, but this one, the rose water and ivy, something about it, it smells just so clean and fresh and I, I love this one. And this one is almost gone as well. So those are probably my favorite candles. Okay, so the last thing that I want to show you is another home product. It's kind of, well, it's a little bit different than the others, but it's actually a cookbook. I found it's a whole 30 fast and easy cookbook and what appealed to me was the fast and the easy part because i'm all about that and also i hate getting a cookbook and then it has like 20 ingredients and it's like okay that's gonna cost a billion dollars i might as well just go to a restaurant and get this you know curry chicken whatever instead of making it because like I'm gonna go broke just buying everything to actually make it so so yeah it just kind of got me out of my comfort zone a little bit I learned some new things it just has some of the best recipes it also has so it has a pho recipe which if you guys don't know what pho is 
totally get it. I didn't know what it was until maybe like two years ago because I'm in Arkansas, we're Southern, we, we don't eat pho. But I discovered pho and it's amazing. But they have a paleo version of it. I think you use like zucchini noodles or something and I'm dying to make that. So, and they also have like a ramen version and just, yeah, I'm I'm about it. It is fast and it's easy and I have actually used this cookbook. I have so many other cookbooks just sitting in my cabinets that I never use. So I actually like this one. So I thought I would share that with you guys as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. It was always so much fun getting on here and just chatting with you guys. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Friday. So I'll see you guys then.